Okay, here I just have a regular clip, no trickster, none of that. And then I started it off with a white flash, which is just a solid that goes on for one frame. And I made it white. And I turned down the opacity to 76, so it's not too harsh. After that, there's another one frame. So for this frame, what I did was I took the main clip, I duplicated it, and then I used the cropping settings to crop it from the bottom. Then I zoomed it out a bit so that it gives you that nice one frame effect. Then here, I did the same thing, but on the other side. And then here, the thing I did was I took a brightness and contrast node, and and then I took the saturation all the way down and then I took the gain all the way up for one frame only. I did the same thing here, but the only difference is my saturation is back to normal. After that, I took a few more overlay, which just looks like that, which is just a normal overlay. And then I set my composite mode to screen, gives it that cool effect. And then yeah, helps sell the transition even more. And then from there, I put another white solid right there, giving it a cool transition. And then for my adjustment clip, give it that zoom in. I went into the adjustment layer. I added a transform node and I took it to three and I put the pivot directly on her face. And then it gives you a really cool zoom in and i took another adjustment layer then i used s hotspot which is a plugin in sapphire then i keyframed the threshold from here to there and then there and i used this graph right here then on my other layer there is a slight transition so i did my transform then i bid my slight transition as you can see i use this graph if you want to know how to make slight transitions Peach made a really good video on how to do that so yeah i won't be going into how i did it from here and then i used ikawa's easy offset to help sell the slight transition even more if you want ikawa's pack i'll link it in the description from there, I have a couple more frames that I used. The first one being my directional blur. Second one being my directional blur again. And then this one, brightness and contrast node with saturation taken down and the gain taken up. And then here, I think the gain was, saturation was taken down, yeah. So it gave this really cool effect. So yeah, this is the whole thing put together. Yeah. And from there, it transitions into this. I think there was supposed to be a slight transition here, but yeah. For this clip, what I did was I used a... And then on this clip, I did my normal tearing map using this graph. And it looks like this. Then I used a solid as a flash transition. And from there, I did another one framer. This one framer is the, the usual. And then from there, I did my usual one framer. Then I used another framer using the brightness and contrast node plus gain. Then a film overlay as well. Then a brightness and contrast node again. Then a white flash. Then a keyframe, the black bar moving across the screen. Here's how it looks. So I grabbed the background node. Then I mastered out like that. Then I keyframed it going from up to down, which gives you this nice transition. From there, another one frame on this side. The thing that I did was I got my brightness on contrast node and then I mastered to the left side. Here, I just took the brightness down and here I mastered on the right side. And then I did it on the whole clip. Basically what I did to get this split screen effect was I took, I took two of the clips and then I used the crop to cut them down. So it looked gives this effect and I timed it really well. And then I put them both together as a compound clip. And then I went in. And then I just took uh, saturation all the way down. There you go. And here they're just two clips joined together. I almost tried to make a match cut sort of transition. I didn't think of adding any framers here because it really looks really good. After that to transition in, I used the white flash. So you have the film burn and then the white flash. And then from here, we have a pan of her opening the door. I added a slight, slight transition. There you go. A uh, slight transition from, uh, I did a slight transition from right to left using these graphs. And then from there, I took a clip of the close up of our eyes. I did zoom it in so that it gives a bigger impact. I took the saturation down using a color corrector and then I took the gain up. It gives that nice black and white look but with a lot of contrast and light. And then from there, another film overlay, another offset framer that we did before. I basically cropped it again. And then I zoomed it in a bit more and it gives you this nice cool one framer right there. I did the same thing for this part as well before I transitioned out. And then I added a hotspot again. And then I added a hotspot transition again. This time using this graph. And then for this thing, I took that it different. I used this graph. So it goes fast, slow, then fast. So it looks like this. Plus this hotspot, it gives a really, really cool effect. And then here I had another brightness and contrast framer. And then here I added my hotspot using this graph again. Then after doing all of that, I enable my color correction, which I do here in the color page to give me that nice TikTok-ish look. Okay, when making full edits, you want to use clips that flow into each other really, really well. I'll keep on saying that. Make sure you use framers where it's needed and make sure you always use slight transitions. So if you want to get really good at flow, make sure you join the server and you find a lot of help with those in there and you can ask me any question. Yeah, so apart from that, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.